previously on A Pint of Cthulhu Fallout. Our intrepid explorers set off from the town in search of the mysterious signal's whereabouts, encountering a few different things along the way. A couple of friendly encounters and a group of angry mole rats. They were quickly dispatched and heading to the west. Fortune smiles on you today. You have found a bunker that has been built using a rocky outcrop as cover. Um, this is obviously what you're looking for as it's being patrolled by a couple of obvious looking synth robots. From your position you're able to get a lay of the land without being noticed. You're, you're currently in a vantage point behind the rocks as the um, as the bunker is focusing its fire and its patrols to the east. Now what you see from your position is just a few metres squared metal box building. It has no windows and all it has is one single wide metal door and with and just next to that single door is a computer terminal beside it. From your position you can't Sorry? No, go ahead. Sorry. No problem. Well, actually, I need to get uh, sent characters into the player so you can see them. Yeah, so, nothing is seen you yet. You've managed to get a lay of the land. And you have the advantage. So what you can see, so you can see some sandbags, some metal barriers, all the sort of things you'd expect to find in a blockade. Um, two synth striders have taken positions between the sandbags and the barrier, one at the northeast corner, one at the southeast corner. Um, you've also got a third synth strider patrolling the south of the building. Now these synths are much better looking than the ones that you faced in town. They're obviously much more complete and they do look to be, from your position, they look to be better equipped. Oh no, they're hot! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so like Sorry, I said, you know, <laughs> like I said, you've got the advantage at the moment. Nothing has seen you so far. Um, so is there anything that you would like to do? What if we use boom ball? That's good and all, but I wonder about the computer. We're gonna I'm have to... to gain access. <laughs> Shh! We gotta make sure they can't hear us. We gotta, we really need to sh make sure that they don't have really good sense of hearing. Do you understand me? Hey, we're over here! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start joking like that again. I will take it as serious. Yeah. <laughs> 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 with, with 4 HP, um, no. I need healed. <laughs> Cap, don't be like Tukin. Come on, let's have a <laughs> well, you did have a night's sleep. Surely you would have healed. Or did we not sleep that long? Yeah, how no, much? You just stopped you for sleep? a barbecue. Ah, yeah. We stopped for a little lunch. Uh, barbecue. I, could, I, could I don't know what this. it is about that mole rat meat, but I've got liquid courage in my veins now. That might be radiation poisoning or food poisoning. Who knows? In any case, I could attempt to sneak a little bit closer. Uh, maybe get a look at that computer. I'm worried that if we kill the guards, it'll lock us out somehow. You want Gertrude to go? Oh, no, Gertrude can't be to Katamba. I could try to oh, shoot one with shoot. my hunting rifle. But we need to take them out meticulously so not to alarm others. Well, do you have a silencer on said hunting rifle? Because otherwise, we would probably all need to take a pot shot at one or so, and hopefully they all hit. Otherwise. Because you take one shot, you're going to alert the whole group. Do not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity comes once you're <laughs> left. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Good. I really just want to kind of sneak up, like, closer to see, get a barrel look at this and see if it's something that's going to walk us out. Like, maybe we'll need their handprint for some bullshit. Gertrude doesn't have gun. Gertrude can hit, but not from here. If worse comes to worse, Gertrude throw baseball grenade. 
Okay, do you guys just want to start shooting oh. them, or is exactly. it worth trying to sneak up first? Tell you what, like, it was a I regular frag grenade should, you got. I think we should throw the, throw the grenade them. Okay. I think oh, we good. need to wait. Just look, wait a little bit. I mean, I remember my days as a Texas Ranger. I mean, we, we'd have to get gang hideouts like this all the time. How about, I do like Winnigan's plan uh, of sneaking in there and getting to that computer. You, uh, but Max and I keep a cover, keep her, uh, keep her covered with our guns. If any Sith get too close, we can, we can take them out, have them ready, have them in our sight. What What's this we shit? <laughs> All right. No, no I'll over here doesn't want to do it. No, I'll go so along with I, you. I will cover you. I'll cover you. No, but now fuck you, man. I'm nuts. You're on your own. <laughs> I'll take care of you, Wayne. Again, don't worry. What? What if we go? One person go around this side. One person go around this side. And then we go up the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Matt, home, drew a dick Matt drew a dick on the screen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so oh, that made you, know, made you laugh, that really? It's the dumbest shit, but I love it. Right. Uh, so Winnegan is going to start sneaking up, and I have a perk that lets me be a little bit more sneaky. Yes, you do. So, um, well, let me sneak for you. Let's just get your... Perk. Only Mac can get himself so freaking worked up over <laughs> one dick on a screen. So I'm going to try and stay in the shadows, like, along here. Get to, like, here to have a look at the computer. Uh, Alright, well, who wants to go around the other end? I... Max? <laughs> Who wants to be the second ball? Who wants to take the ass end? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think what it's saying here is you get an additional D20 when you do a sneak check. So you yeah. get to, so when it comes up with additional dice, you just put one in there. Yep. All right, so. You want me to... Is this, is this plan? Is this what we're doing? Winnegan's going to sneak. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow behind Winnegan just to make sure, and I'll have my hunting rifle up. Really? Wow, excellent. Wow. So, How would you go the other way? <laughs> Give me grenade. When, oh, fuck's sake. Dave! <laughs> uh, starts to climb over the rocks as quietly and as uh, agile as she possibly can. So, can you roll me the agility against sneak check? Two successes in one crit. Oh. Oh. The two successes cancel it out because it's two of them. Ooh. I'm gonna give you that, yeah. Because that's a that's a Ooh. four and a five for those successes. Your target was nine. Two successes against the crit fail. And and you've got that perk as well. So I'm just gonna say that your perk cancels out that crit hat. I'm gonna be kind on this particular occasion. So yes, Winnegan successfully slides her way down the rocky outcrop and is now directly across from the computer. Now it's about uh, let's have a look. What kind of distance is that? About 20 feet. Uh, 20 feet walk to get towards the computer um, as she continues to sneak. However, Max Power has also decided to follow oh, her. Oh, fuck. No. I no. just want to, I just you, want you to climb up on top and make position right here I'm on the being corner. I'm incredibly visible. <laughs> right. That and aim like a at, much better at, idea. <laughs> and, and aim at this one here in case it gets alerted so I can shoot at it. The one right so beside Max the building. taking position on top of the rocky outcrop, which is great. <laughs> it's just a fantastic plan. Um, and he's just watching the positions of the synth striders as Winnegan continues to sneak towards the computer. What's the rest of us doing? Gertrude's gonna go and walk around up to the top and put stay. Here. You draw another... Okay. I'm I'm so, gonna kinda follow suit with um with Max Power. I kinda wanna be able to go up on the Rocky Outrope and I'm actually going to aim it at a different synth, this one over here that I'm highlighting, to my right. I'm gonna have him in my sights. Okay, well uh, so, well wolf. when he gets up here I just wanna be like, Hey, why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. <laughs> Yeah, this is where I jump off. This undead. is where I jump off the cliff <laughs> in my life. I'm like, I accept my fate. Death is inevitable. Oh, he really did have the guts. 
<laughs> okay, so <laughs> Max and Billy Bob, I'm guessing, are both on this rocky outcrop watching Winnegan as she sneaks towards this computer. Gertrude has went decided to go to the north and is walking around the rocks in order to get to the uh what would it be, the, the northeast side of the barricade. Um she has stopped at the rocks before getting towards the barricade. So currently out of sight of anyone. Mr. Medman, what are you doing? That's a very good question right now. Um I'm kind of sort of hanging back right now because I'm quite a loud robot and yeah, we're trying to play the stealthy. Yeah. Hanging back. So, Excellent. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so Winnegan successfully made it to the computer. Right, so, Winnegan, what are you doing? I'm going to try and examine it and see if it's like a mechanism to open the door. And if so, if it's like an eye scan or a hand scan or some bullshit. Alright, it is just a, um, a a basic keyboard entry with a screen. Um, it's just asking for startup commands. Can you give me a intelligence check on this? Give me a science. A science roll. Science versus intelligence? Yeah, we're doing computer hacking here. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! <laughs> We're gonna get so bad at everything. So That's bad. actually a good target to have, though. Your target is 11, so your intelligence and, and your somehow science I'm never are really high. It. I'll do it again. Go on, use an AP. Oh, yeah. Sure, I'll use an AP. Yeah. Use an AP. Do another roll 20 for me. Oh, for my sake. goodness. Really? That's another failure? She has an 11. An 11! We don't mention this, but Winnegan is, is becoming the Addison of this company. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Terrible rolls. Absolutely god awful rolls. Alright, you spend an AP. If you want to, you can try and spend luck. I have two luck left. Do it. Fuck it, sure. Alright, roll as many as you want, I guess. <laughs> one or two luck. One luck. Alright, so that's 1d20 then? Oh, hey. finally! Hey. Oh. Yay! That's like losing a coin cost three times in a row. After 50 minutes of <laughs> tapping away at this computer, Billy Bob and Max Power on the Rocky Outcrop starting to get cramp in their legs, <laughs> just suddenly she goes, I'm in. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear you! What'd you say? <laughs> So she's managed to successfully hack the computer and on the screen some symbols pop up and eventually turn into two different directories that she can choose. Um, there is a call elevator button and there is a turret options button. What would you like to do? Oh fuck. Turret options. I know I want to but we do need the elevator. <laughs> Evil voice whisper in my ear. I think when it was too. I know. What are the options on the? Oh wait, shit! Out? Yeah, no. Have, tar, tar. <laughs> hey, can I ask a quick question, Cap? Yeah. Have I seen a turret anywhere so far? Nobody's seen a turret yet. Then yeah, turret options. <laughs> Excellent. Turret options um, turns into three different options. It's number one, continue target profile. Number two, toggle target profile, and number three, deactivate. Toggle. Toggle, yeah. Toggle. Another two options come up. Remove target profile. Or continue target profile. Oh fuck. So continue to keep it the same targets they're already at. Remove target profile when it shoots anything. Uh, fuck. Can I turn it off actually? Can I go back and turn it off? Yeah, you can go back, uh, you can go back and deactivate it. Or you can remove yeah, its targeting yeah. profile. By the way, this yeah, sounds like getting yeah. gas in America when you swipe your card and it asks you a million fucking questions before it gives you your gas. <laughs> oh, would you like to join like Shell Rewards? <laughs> no, I don't want to join Shell Rewards. Do you want a car wash? No. Would you like to donate? No. Would you like to? No. Just give me my fucking gas. <laughs> in the UK, you just fill your gas up and then you pay your gas. <laughs> oh. Also in New Jersey, I think, for some reason, there's some shit about that. So deactivating the turret, because I think if I remove the profile, it'll just shoot everyone, including us. 
OK. So you have successfully deactivated the turret that you haven't seen yet. Um, is there anything else that you would like to do on this computer? Call the elevator if I can. Yep, call the elevator. Um, and uh, make a big old motion to the guys on the hill, like, start shooting shit. <laughs> do you know what she's trying to tell us? Because it kind of looks like she's doing a rain dance out there. Fuck it. Got you! Max? Smash! Max? <laughs> Ma Max? Are you there? Ma Max! Max is passed out of sleep. Max, wake up! Max! I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Where do you want me to shoot? Okay. All right, the striders have heard a, a loud voice saying shoot and are now walking towards where the <laughs> voice came from. So can we start? Because we have prepared, you know, we had them down our sights. Do we get like a bonus on attack or something? Or what, what? Well, you... <laughs> Like we had these lined up. <laughs> like Billy Bob yeah, had the one that you're, the you're north. sitting here talking them... about shooting. They're currently walking towards her. What do you want to do? Well, that's all, I, all I'm telling <laughs> up is like frying pan. Are we you're, able to do that? Still over there. Or you want us to roll for initiative? <laughs> or you want us to roll for initiative? The combat hasn't insane. started yet. They're, they haven't noticed she's there, so they're just walking towards her at the moment. Okay, so are we going to go ahead and do pot shot at the one I was aiming at? And you can. Pot shot. Fantastic. That's that, that, that will start the combat off. So, uh, Billy Bob's going to start things off with a shot. Uh, now, there's three currently in your sight. Uh, one at the north side of the building. And two at different distances at the south side of the building. Which one are you going to shoot at? I am shooting at this one. That's the one I had aimed. I, I had it down my sights and everything. So. Excellent. Great. Billy Bob is taking his shot at the north side. Um, now, because you can use your minor action for aim and you haven't moved at all, then yeah, this is only going to take one success for you to hit it. Okay, so... Okay. So are you right. using your laser musket? Yes. Alright, just fire off your laser musket from your position at the top of the rocks. <gasps> that is a crit success. Crit success, excellent. So you get that AP back that she uh, spent on her unsuccessful hacking attempt. <laughs> Roll the damage okay. for me. Four damage! And four I have damage. piercing one. Oh, excellent. Four damage plus one piercing. That is actually a crit hit. So let's find out where it hit. The right arm. Brilliant. So you've managed to... You've actually managed to shoot off the right arm of the synth strider in the north. So that synth strider no longer had the right arm. Brilliant. Yeah! <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. What do you see? You see that? <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, yeah. it has one-handed weapons, so it's still it's still <laughs> going to attack you. <laughs> oh shit! Really excellent. So that's um, that's five damage. Um, and the turn order starts. So when again, now that you've shouted to, sh to them to shout, and Billy Bob has taken his shot, what do you do from your position? Really, rifle time. Hey, open to Josh's. Yeah, I thought I had my shot lined up to get this in right here to the yeah. top of the building. Yeah, Josh also had his lined up. Billy Bob took the shot first. That started the turn order, unfortunately. Alright. So, when again gets time to react to this before you take your shot. Once you're not the one in the dangerous one, either. You'll be fine. We can use the excuse that I woke you up from a nap like it, <laughs> like it did. <laughs> <laughs> so, are any of them actually in my sight, or am I going to have you are going to have to move, yes. If you want to oh. see them, the one that was patrolling the south hasn't quite came around the corner yet. Um, okay, so I'm going to move to a bit here. So you're just going to take a couple of steps back from the computer? Yeah, so I can actually see one of them to shoot them. Alright, so you move a few feet back from the computer, bringing into range the patrolling synth on the south of the building. You can now see it from the cor around the corner of the, the building. And uh, yeah, you can take a shot from there. Yep, when's uh, heft up that railway rifle again? Take a shot. Brilliant, excellent, go for it. For fuck's sake. Alright. Oh, a critical uh, failure, failure yep. Yeah. Um, let's see what that's going to be. That's the critical failure. I get my be. virtual dice checked. <laughs> we war test them. Uh, 
had to be someone. Each, each time it's gonna be someone in the street. Or should I say everyone? I don't know. <laughs> Cartman's not doing too good with the old medical checks. Alright, yeah. your gun surprises you. Um, it clicks into action and it fires three railway spikes at the one time on different directions. Um, none of which hit the synth strider, unfortunately. So you've wasted three of your uh, your railway spikes. Oh shit! This thing has semi-automatic. <laughs> no, no, that was a uh, that was very <laughs> much not how it was supposed to work. <laughs> All right then. All right, Max, you do have your shot lined up. Um, this is going to be an easy shot for you. Only one success required to make the hat. All right, here we go. I have my hunting rifle up and ready, sights lined, and we fire off a shot. All right, yeah, there you go. You got your one success target at 10. You managed to roll an 8. So roll your damage there. 7. 7 damage, nice. Um, oh, that's some physical damage. So they, they actually have just, Fortunately, it only takes 4 damage. Oh, wait, piercing as well. Yeah, so. Back up to five. Brilliant. So you do five damage. That's another crit hit. Well done, guys. You got a couple of funny crits here. So let's see. Where does it hit? You take out the left arm of this one. So you've got <laughs> you've got one synth strider up the top there that's only got one left arm, and you've got one synth strider down the bottom here that's only got a right arm now. So you're just ripping limbs off of these synth striders from a distance. What do you a good start? What do you call a synth with a sense of humor? Laughing stock. Now let's see, it's still laughing after my bullets hit. Sorry, you guys asked for bad dad jokes. I'm trying. I wonder if I could shoot myself in the head on this laser pistol. Why did the tomato turn red? It saw us. Alright, so the synth striders turn next. So the synth strider towards the north, first of all, this is the one that Belly Bob shot first. Now he obviously knows that he's being shot at now that he's lost an arm and he moves into position to see where it came from. Now he doesn't move far enough to be able to see Winnigan from his position, it's still blocked off from his view. So he thinks that he's only got two the weird people on the rocky outcrop. <laughs> And he decides to take a shot up at them with his Institute laser pistol. Oh, jeez. Yes. And, of course, given that, that would have been a hard shot anyway, given the distance. Um, but he rolls in a 14 and 11, which is zero successes for him, and he shoots wide. The one that was shot by Max on the south, unfortunately, has seen Winnigan. And is going straight for her. He moves as far as he can in, in his move, which uh, gets him down by the corner of the building, and also decides to shoot off a, a shot with his pistol and also fails. Um, of course, ah, these two were the just... ones that just lost their arms, so they're obviously a little bit shaky from that. <laughs> so um, he shoots wide, misses Winnigan. The third synth strider towards the south doesn't see anybody yet, he's not in position to see anybody yet, so he's just going to move into position because of the distance and um, is unable to take any other action, but it's ready to attack on the next turn. And we're going to go ahead and go to Mr. Medman, who is a way out at the back, still behind the rocks. Does he even know what's going on, or...? Get up here, you cowardly bastard. <laughs> yeah. We've heard the gunshots at least. Cartman! I'm here, I'm just waiting my turn. It's your turn! It's your turn now, bud. Cool, cool. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I need to shoot one of these synth guys, I know. <laughs> um, you can't even see them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're hanging back away behind the, the rocks. And now everybody starts to shoot, what do you do? Yeah, no, I'm gonna go and join in, I wanna shoot someone. Alright, okay, so you just sort of float up next to Billy Bob on the rocky outcrop and fire a little laser pointer down at them. What, which, which one are you firing at? The one to the north or one of the two at the south? Um, the one closest to Winnigan. 
All right, um, the one closest to Winnegan. That's the one that's just got into the battle. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the one. So he's got the full health. Give me the laser pointer. Cool. All hit right. It. So you did not hit it, unfortunately. You weren't oh, ready God. on the rocky outcrop. You moved oh. up to the rocky outcrop before making your shot, so you weren't actually aiming, and that is a bit of a distance. So that was a two successes difficulty in order to make that shot. You did get one success, but unfortunately, hard shot. I'm not letting you have that one. That's a miss. Yeah. Back to Billy Bob. Alright, well, tell you what, oh power butt, power buddy, I bet I can hit the other arm off of my target before you can hit the other arm off of your target. My target fell back, so I'm going to have to aim at this target here, which isn't fair. Because this target here is closer to win again. Ah, too bad. Life ain't fair. All right, I'm going to shoot mine. All right, I'm going to shoot mine too. Can we go at the same time, Cap? No. Oh. It's Belly Bob's turn. Yeah. <laughs> That's another crit success. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think your AP's all back to full now again. You're doing quite well with these successes. Um, now, were you actually aiming at a specific arm there? Uh, no. See, that's a shame that you said no there, because it would have been uh, too difficulty to get the specific arm you wanted to. And you would have got it yeah. with that crit success. Oh, well, I mean, if, if that's the case, did you? Did you? <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Excellent, great. So you aim at the other arm, you hit the other arm successfully. How much damage do you do to it? Ow. Two, Two. energy damage. <laughs> Yay. Unfortunately, it glances off the arm, doing two damage, not killing the robot. However, it is not looking good. It is kind of stumbly. That looks Didn't like it's I have good. One, shouldn't it have one piercing? Or does it only... It's only if you do a certain kind of damage there. So you've done two physical oh. damage. Uh, no, sorry, two energy damage, because it's a laser musket. Um, but if it's got the wee face comes up on the dice, that's when you do your piercing damage. Ah, okay. All right, Gertrude. Now you've just been going a stroll around the rocks. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do goes bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there any way I can actually get to that one? Not at all. Hmm. I would say no. You could double up your movement speed by using your major action to get into position. Then you need an AP to attack. Do you have anything in your inventory you can throw at them, maybe? Um, really, I don't think anyone gave me the grenade I asked for. Uh, I have a Raider's chest piece for some reason. Why do I have that in my inventory? Oh, that's my own armor. Yeah, that's your armor. I got half a bottle of moonshine. Do you not maybe have the head of a sledgehammer? That you broke off of a off of a mole rat in the last episode. Do you want me to throw my sledgehammer? <laughs> I, look, I'm just throwing suggestions to you. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm, I'm quite Can sure that you should remember thoughts? these things. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to break from being thrown. Yeah. It's a sledgehammer head. Oh, go on then. If I can pick it up afterwards. Right, so I'm going to allow you to move into position to here. That's as far as I'm letting you move. In fact, you know what? Yeah, so um, oh. what you've done is you've managed to clear the rocks. You are now north of the building. Um, but you're still past the metal barrier. And you know what you've seen when you came around those rocks? You actually see in the middle of the sandbag barrier, a turret. Hmm. Huh. Great. <laughs> the turret does nothing because it's been deactivated. Where can we take that later? So you've managed to get into position. Is there anything you want to do from that position, or would you like to use the major action to like get more movement speed. I guess I'll hop thing at the. Uh... Yeah, so you're gonna go and throw something at them. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Give me a throw action. Oh, that was a bad one. Yeah. So you just threw the sledgehammer head to the side of it. It sort of bounces uh, twice in front of the synth strider, and. He reacts confusedly, I guess. <laughs> Back to Winnegan. Winnegan, you still get three synth bearing down on you. What are you doing? 
Uh, this one. Is this the one, uh, this one, Max Paris hit? This one hit. This one's gonna yeah. hit? Okay. Yes, yeah, so the one closest to you is the one that just got into the fight. It hasn't seen any damage yet. The one just behind that is the one that Max ripped the arm off of. I'm gonna do a shot at the ripped arm one. Hopefully, if I hit, I'll be able to do it. Excellent. Is that a railway rifle action? Yep. Brilliant. Raise the rifle up. Give it another try. Hopefully it doesn't fail this time. Oh! Yay! And it doesn't fail. Success! No. Your target was 9 and you rolled a 9. That's one success plus the distance Barely. is fine. So you're, I'm only going to need one success from you. Roll the damage for me. Oh! So five five damage. physical damage plus breaking. I'm going to have to remind myself the breaking rules here. What does that mean for the for the poor synth? All right, there we go. Just the number of targets cover provides. So he's not in cover, so that doesn't matter. If he's not in cover, instead reduce the damage resistance of the location struck by one. All right, so it's like breaking through armor, which is good. Ah. Considering these guys only have energy resistance and you're doing physical damage, that doesn't actually matter. So you only do five damage. Well, I say only do five damage. That is still a crit hit. So we're going to see where that hit them first of all. That's the right leg. So this guy's lost his left <laughs> arm and his right leg, and he falls to the ground. <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's only got two hit points left. Brilliant. <laughs> yep. So um, uh, fairly. Really unnerving view here. You've still got a Sin Strider crawling towards you on its one leg and one arm with its pistol ready to shoot at you. Um, but it's not at its turns yet. How uh, it's can back it to, and shoot? It's back to Max. Oh, jeez, here we go. Mm -hmm. okay. Call me Max Power because I've got the power to um, survive on expired Nuka Cola and Old Donut. Power, right? Okay, so I'm going to take a shot at. The new one that just joined the fight that has absolutely no damage with my hunting rifle. So we will see how this goes. Since Winnegan had just got successes, I'm betting I'm going to get a fail. Oh no! Two successes. Excellent. Target a 10, you rolled a 10 and an 8, you get two successes there. Um, roll your damage for me please. Ah, four and one piercing. Four with one piercing. Damage, physical damage. So that is another hit with a nice effect for you. So we can see the location. This is a torso. Excellent. You've hit it right dead center mass, and it's now leaking, leaking what seems to be um, necessary fluids. So we're yeah. gonna give this guy a bleed. We're gonna give this guy a bleeding effect. Why is it always the ones that I'm giving ones bleeding effect? <laughs> it's a good thing, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just like actually happy this character's better than my deceased cat character from last <laughs> season. <sighs> All right, things are going reasonably well for you, but you're not killing anything. Uh, you're just. Unfortunately, not being hit yourself so far. <laughs> um, right, the Synth Strider's turns are next, and they are in bad shape. Um, the Synth Strider that is at the north has now noticed that there's a Super Mutant run at it, so it's going to take a shot at Gertrude. Oh my god, yeah, these guys are not doing well at all. Yeah, failures all round for the, for the Synth Striders. Um, it shoots at Gertrude. Gertrude, I don't know, do you dodge it or does it just shoot wide? Let's just say it shoots wide. It shoots wide and hits the rock. The Sin Strider to the south that is currently bleeding now. <laughs> that was five damage. Yeah. There we go. Right. So he's not happy about things. He's bleeding now or whatever the Synth Strider version of bleeding is. He's noticed that he's getting shot from the rocks, but he's uh, he's got a closer target to go for, so he's actually going to go up to Winnegan. 
and use his baton to try and shock her. Winnegan deftly moves out of the way of this shock baton. Absolutely no trouble there. He swings wide. I don't know, some sort of duck, flip. What do you do, girl? What do you do, Winnegan? To get out of the way. Matrix, Matrix yeah. lean. <laughs> In Trinity style. Jumps over the, the shock button. No issue there. And the third synth strider comes in, it sort of crawls in a little bit more, considering the amount of limbs it's missing. And this one succeeds. Oh, fuck. The one that has no arm and no leg raises its institute laser pistol from its position in the ground, shoots up at Winnegan mid Trinity jump, oh. and does, oh, five energy damage. Two effects. Yeah, two effects. That's the burst, which is a. Uh, it's a one additional target within close range, so, unfo so unfortunate for the Synth Strider. Doesn't apply to this. You were the only person that's there. And Vicious, the attack inflicts plus one damage for each effect rolled. So, because you got the burst. Oh, you're taking six damage here. Okay. Yeah. Ow. That is a. Bad shot. He he took his vengeance out on you. Let's see where did he hit. He has broken your right arm with that shot. Um. So um, what was it? You you drop your railway rifle. Yep. To the ground. As a two-handed weapon, so you're not able to use that. Nasty shot there. Unfortunately, that's the synth striders done for their round. It's now back to our friendly medical robot out, up in the ridge. Awesome, I can now uh, fire my laser pointer, yeah? Yeah, you can fire it in. Yay! Fire my laser! <laughs> Given that you're not moving or not taking position on this one, I'm going to let you just have one success for this. That's good, so I got a six. But, yeah, which you do. You managed to roll a six, your target was ten. Fantastic. Give me the damage you're rolling. No, oh, it's only, only a three this time. Alright, yeah, it is energy damage though, remember, and these yeah. guys have energy damage resistance. Yay. So, they are to, that's two damage. You haven't told me which one you're hitting. Oh, the, the, um, the one closest to Jay. Sorry, is that the same one as last time? Excellent. So, yep, you hit it in the side, it sort of stumbles a little bit, takes two damage, continues the fight, no trouble. Billy Bob, you're currently still up on the ridge with Max and the, and the robot, firing from a distance, you're going to continue to do that? Yes, and I will keep going for the one that's about to hit the group. Uh, just so you know, because uh, big old tin can over here shot off the leg of the other one that does not count as you shooting off a limb before I did. So, uh, bet's still on that I can shoot mine off before you shoot yours off. Just <laughs> It wasn't the arm, it doesn't count. <laughs> and I miss wildly. Yep. <laughs> it's two, zero successes. Too busy trying to show off to Max and you shoot wide. Fortunately, Gertrude's nowhere near it, so I'm not going to make her do a, a survival check for that one. And we're back to Gertrude. Sorry about that. Yeah, these Sin Striders are still in the game. I mean, they're eight. There's some really low HPs here, but you're still not managing to kill them. What, what, what are you going to do? Who? You. You, you, it's your turn. Oh, is it? Sorry, I just literally came back. <laughs> um, yeah, Alex was having a having a problem. Right, go to will run up to this one here and use the trusty dusty frying pan. Yeah, you're close enough for that. That's no problem. Yeah, so you run up behind the synth strider. Well, in fact, he was looking at you the last time. Oh, there you go. Yeah, two successes. Oh, two successes. Target a thirteen. You rolled a thirteen and eleven. No problem there. And yeah. You just sh you shatter the rest, the remaining parts of these shit. This synth strider apart, hit it right in the torso, and all its limbs fly off. <laughs> Only thing still attached to the torso is the head, 
and it just crumples to the ground. One synth strider down. We're on to Winnegan. You are not feeling good, Winnegan. You just had your arm shot, your gun disarmed from you. Yep, uh... I might be a bit fucked, actually. My health is very, very low. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna have to just try and shoot one of them, I guess. With 10 mil there. That's one-handed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, you can also, okay, you've uh, got the stem packs to try and heal yourself if you want, but... How much do they heal? I think it's different in battle. Hold on. Healing. Injuries, healing. Here we go. Healing actions in combat. You can attempt an intelligence plus medicine roll, and what that does... It regains 1 HP for every point you have in that skill. Uh, I have 8, eight intelligence. Oh, sorry, it's a rank in medicine skill, not an intelligence skill. Well, I have 0, so it would give me 0 HP. Hold on. So, that's not good. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, regaining yeah, health in combat seems to be pretty shoot. difficult. You really do need a medicine check for that. Right. Let's see, taking uh, a stim pack, um, first aid, major action. Oh, here we go. Yes, excellent. You don't need it. That's fine. Um, you can get 4 HP just by a stim pack. Just by admi administering a stim pack in combat uh, with a first aid, major action. That's uh, You can just regain 4 HP. You, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, right. Last was five damage to me. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, unfortunately, given that's a major action, you can't shoot as well. That's fine. So, four HP for Simpact, yep. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant, excellent. So, when again, um, after dodging. The synth strider that hit it with hit out with a shock baton just to get shot by the one uh, the one behind it. She ducks to the ground and tries to administer some healing to herself with a stim pack and heals for four hit points. Next is Max. How are you going to protect Winnegan Max from where you are up on the rocks? High up on the mountains, looking down through my rifle scope, I am going to shoot the one that is right next to Winnegan to try to save her. Yep, given that that's the one that didn't hit her, that's an excellent option, exactly the kind of thing I would expect from Max. <laughs> um, so go ahead and take the shot. Yes, one success. I'm going to let you have that for one success. Yep, you've been up there, you're aiming, uh, you take the shot, roll your damage please. Oh, six damage. That is major damage either. All piercing, all physical. Fantastic. That's exactly the amount of hit points that <laughs> Sound Strider had left. Um, so <laughs> where did you hit it? You hit it in the left leg, right? So you hit that. You shoot down, hit this um, creature in the left leg. Um, it crumples, and given that it was already had a hole in it and it was bleeding, it just frizzles out, falls over. And stops moving. Second strength, Synth Strider is dead. Whew. So next up, unfortunately, is the remaining Synth Strider's turn. With its two hit points and its two remaining limbs, it just fires out wildly with its uh, Institute laser. And succeeds again. Surprisingly enough, this is the only Synth Strider that has actually done damage and it doesn't have a fucking limbs. <laughs> and... <laughs> My oh. goodness! Ow. It does another seven points of damage to Winnegan. Um. Is that you dead? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, she has a stim. Game. She has a stim pack on her. We, once we get to her, she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, We'll be able to do the stabilizing the dying tutorial on this episode. Fantastic. <laughs> Is anyone surprised, though, about who, who it was? Ah, you're, you're not so well with the sneaking down there as well. If only other people came I'm with so you. I was so convinced it was going to be Josh that died or nearly died this series, but no. Episode 9. Guess who dies? <laughs> yeah. You get three guesses and two of them don't count. <laughs> This angry and limbless sense trader manages to down Winnigan. God damn. Mr. Medman, what is your reaction to this? Mr. Nothing. Medman he doesn't react. He's, <laughs> he doesn't even He's notice. Air, air, air. Just the internet. internet load oh, up okay. the modem. <laughs> Do we have to unplug them and plug them back in? Is the power on? Garfman, yeah. are you with us? Have you passed on to the no, I'm here. coil? Just, just are you aware back. of anything going on around you? We've been talking to you for like the past three minutes an hour. You didn't say Carmen. <laughs> we did. No, we I said Mr. Medman. The car the I name of your character. Said well then. Carmen, Winnegan is down. Get she high is after the podcast. Winnegan no. is at zero HP. She is down. What is your reaction to this? Well, yeah, just uh, hit carry on firing my laser. Just that's, absolutely that's not silently whispers, "I'm free." <laughs> <laughs> Winnegan, yeah, so Winnegan, so stay away from the light. Don't go towards the light. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm sure it's fine. Light? I'll get there when you I get there. The <laughs> no, no, it's it's like it's like the, the the lights a bug zapper, and you're the bug. Stay away from it. Do you ever have? Do you ever shut up? That's why I like slowly turn and turns back. Do you have? <laughs> you ever shut up? And I point my laser pistol at him. <laughs> uh, not at the end. <laughs> Batman, roll your laser shot. Only if you can tell us what's going on, Carmen. Oh, oh there you sims. go. Look at that. Look at that amount of successes there. Yeah. <laughs> he actually got a crit success on one of those. That's fantastic. He got 10 was his target. He rolled a 2 and a 7. That 2 gives him those 3 successes. So, yeah. Tell you what. You can do the final damage. Hopefully, he managed to do more than 2 damage. This synth strider that's lying in the ground. Let's find out. <clears throat> you do. Five damage, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter about the crit hits and all that, it's fine. This um, synth strider is fried, it is dead. You have took out all of the synth striders in the area um, with very little damage done to anybody except when it. That's great. Because now, the second that that sim dies, Mr. Medman is all of a sudden realised, oh shit, injuries, got to sort that out. So I'm going to run straight to Winnegan and try to revive her and save her life. Fantastic. Everybody <laughs> really, really worried about Winnegan's well-being here runs down from the rocky outcrop towards her. And <laughs> I see Gertrude yeah. sneaking over to the fucking turret. Can we start? You know, don't know shit. Can we start doing like CPR and then you just play uh, another one bites the dust like done? Don't, don't. Another one bites the dust. That's just going to encourage me to walk into the light. <laughs> CPR! I've got this! Get, I'm kicking everybody out of the way to get to Kill Winnie. Me. Oh, don't worry, Kill I've got it! Me. Wait, I'm, a, I'm a master at this! Don't worry! It's mouth to mouth, not genitals no. to mouth. Oh. Okay. Either is okay. So you don't know how I do CPR, alright? Alright. Yeah. So I'm just going to straight away just stab a stim pack into her because I'm, I'm the first one there. Like, ah. Well, first of all, you need to stabilize the dying. And this is I the next part of the tutorial. So, pack, using the first aid action, you can attempt to stabilize a dying character. Now, what this requires is an intelligence plus medicine test with a difficulty of that's equal to the number of injuries the patient has. Now, given that that last shot was a crit hit, um, took her down. She has two injuries. 
So the difficult it's going to be a two difficulty test okay. in order for you to stabilize her. Okay. Well, chat, I need to use my AP points here. Like, can I use like two of them? All right. Yeah. Two more rolls will um will cost cool. you three AP points. Cool. So yeah, that's gonna be the case. All right. So you can um, roll so four dice in that case. That'd be the medicine, wouldn't it? Yep, intelligence and medicine. I also have that as well. Oh, oh sorry. That's all right. I'm, I'm a bloody medbot. I just don't know. In a crit fail. Don't suppose you've got any luck you want to re-roll any of those dice with? Yes, the critical fail. I'm, I'm just. I'm, I'm going to chuck all my luck into it. All three. I'm going to re-roll three. All right. Yeah. Give me another three d twenty in that case. Um, can I just do that as a medicine check? Just, just do three. Um, yeah, you can. Medicine check, one extra dice, that'll be three of them, bang. There we go, that's what I need. Oh. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. So it costs I mean... you three luck points and three AP points, but you have managed to restore um, Winnegan to one HP. They are no longer dying. Okay. And the, and the second she starts to start, you know, she, this actually um, starts to come alive, she coughs. Mr. Madman is going to go, she lives! She lives! Considering how much you had to use to do that, I can just imagine like Mr. Madman was like sweating like a surgeon <laughs> in the middle. Of, it's like it's it's kind of scaring us to see a robot sweat, and then he like casually whips out duct tape. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa! What kind of medical procedures are we doing here? <laughs> and just as she coughs and comes back into the light, a ding, <laughs> a ding rings out from the doorway, and the doors slide open. Oh great! God, oh. is that you? Gertrude I think grab. that's where we'll end the episode right there. <laughs> <laughs> Winnegan comes back to life. The doors open to the building. What could possibly be inside? Find out next time. Thank you for listening to this episode of A Pint of Cthulhu. If you want to get in touch, you can find us on X and on Blue Sky at Pint of Cthulhu. Furthermore, if you'd like to help out the podcast, go over to our Ko-Fi page, link in the description. So mote it be.